whatever, Final Fantasy inspired boss. Um, just a wall that pushes against you. So today I'm going to be giving it some more, it's just a total mock-up at this point. As you can tell, it's a gray, just a big gray square. It's a gray cinder block that's attacking you. Um, so um, my goal today is to give it two more attacks. One, one attack is it's, it'll have some fear gas or whatever, it shoots out this gas. So it might actually be a big old face, or some weird, distorted, crazy face. Get pushed into the, the sky right there. Um, yeah, that's that spews out this like fear gas, and then when you get hit by the fear gas, you're all you're all panicked and you run around and weird, weird angles and stuff. Um, and then uh, the other enemy I wanted to create is like an enemy that can fly really quickly across the screen sideways. Also, that's kind of inspired by Axiom Verge. Axiom Verge has this cool um, enemy where it's sort of like a little snake or dragon or something like that. It shoots really fast, but this is going to be different. Um, it'll be like a sort of look like brains. It'll be goo and stuff like that. And um, we'll kind of like we have different physics and stuff like that. So, uh, yep, that's what I'm doing. Working on the attacks and making this boss fight fun. And then, man, if there's time, there probably won't be. But if there is time, I'll start drawing the wall because of the face and stuff like that. So, let's get this going. Eh? Eh? I'm gonna start with some gas. I think it might be in weapons, actually. Freezing gas. So I'm gonna copy freezing gas into fear gas. And in foes, What's a good, well, the pulverizer actually is a pretty good example of what I want to create for the flying thing. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a seer. This will be the seer fear. There might be more seers, like poison seer and stuff like that. Sort of like halfway between spear and searing, piercing. What's up, Pedro? What you doing, man? How, how did that interview go? You finished your coding challenge? What was it? All right, so the fear boss. Every once in a while, ah, it's not gonna ever need these move flags. Okay, every once in a while, uh, we'll make it shoot out some fear gas. A bejeweled clone? That's a lot of work. Dang, man. That's just for an interview. Wow. <clears throat> What's up, clock? What's up, what's up? So if target is any, um, and if rand, let's say every, well, chance in every one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe every eight seconds, it can do a spawn. Oh, and if, if count fear gas zero, spawn fear gas, that's, that's it. So yesterday and today, wow. Oh, and the animations weren't even needed? What? Well, so um, how did it go? Have you got any word from them? Circle gradient. All right, so timer, flags. This just slows down this the target. This, the, the fear gas is gonna need a collision. Category fear, size, I don't know, 60 by 60 maybe?
Mm-hmm. So yeah, that will that will kind of impose its fear. And then really all it needs to do is remove itself when it's done. It doesn't need to do this whole target speed stuff. Huh. That's really all there is to this. Alright, let's see if that worked. Two interviews last week. And get a second interview. <clears throat> it was a fully training coding day at the company. Really? That sounds crossy. Come on, where's your spear gas? Fear gas at all. Why is that? If Rand 8, if count fear gas zero, spawn fear gas. Let's take out that. Already scheduled a third and final interview? Yes! Congratulations! Oh, that's so great. Awesome news. Yes, there, it did it. Oh, it did do it. It's back there, though. Okay, so we want to do spawn fear gas zero, something like negative 40. Let's put it really, really down there. There's some. And I, I don't know if I got hurt by that. Maybe it needs collision damage. Damage 0.5. You coded it super fast. Oh yeah, totally right. Get him, get a bidding war going, man. Get him bidding over Pedro. I want Pedro. No, I want Pedro. We want Pedro. Everybody wants Pedro. Where can I? Do you know where I can get some Pedro? Whoa! What the hell happened? Whoa! I don't know what happened there, but as soon as I got hit with the fear... It's like it pushes so weird. Oh, the, the wall got hit by its... Oh! The wall got hit with its own fear! <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Huh. I was like, why is it jumping around? Fear gas does not need. He's he's last camera. Can't last camera puts it so it's not blurred out by the 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 uh, the bloom shader. They're known worldwide. Mini clip, eight ball pool, sweet. Oh man, dude, that's great. timer is way well maybe it just needs a timer man this is a simple ass enemy right here what's up arcane welcome so maybe I'll set a timer for like depending on uh, we'll do random random so random timer something like One, two, three, four. 
So initially like four to five seconds or so. So then we have if timer is less than zero, if target any, if count fear gas zero, spawns with fear gas. And then set another timer. Whoops. What the what? Timer uh, this time a little longer, maybe more like six to eight seconds. How about six to nine seconds? Eh. Yo, what's up, Keenan? Wait, what is Agar? I haven't seen Agar IO. Boop, 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 boop. What? This game centered around the idea that Big fish will eat little fish. Oh, okay. So those big those big circles were eating the little circles. Oh, oh. Okay. Fear gas needs like a color that's like really dark, like black maybe. I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's see. What's up, Ray Bro? You have a cell that eats smaller cells and you have to divide. Oh, your goal is to be the biggest one. I see. It's like, it needs to be bigger now. Make me rich. Maybe it should kind of like float around a little bit. Some movement would be good. Or maybe some like flickering bubbliness. The licking wall. Yes. I love that idea. What's happening here? Why is it not running? What are you doing? F mod, killing it. Sometimes, sometimes your sound engine just doesn't work. You know, I understand that. hurts when you get hit by it. Spawn fear gas. I think it needs to be spawned a little lower though. Maybe a lot lower. Like negative 69 pixels. Z, yes, the wall is getting better. It's coming along. Working on some fear cow oh, there. Got hit by that right there. That's the fear gas thing. Whoa. That just like killed me immediately. Okay, I have I have five health. Now I'm down to four health. Three health, two health. Holy crap. Oh, it's cause it hits me and then it keeps hitting me and hitting me and hitting me. And fear does a lot of damage after a while. You get hit with the fear and then wait. 
Yeah, yeah, it is. It's totally hitting me with fear multiple times. So... It needs like a, a very quick moment where it's like got the fear. Um, yeah, so we'll start with category none. And uh, like we'll set a timer. Well, it's already got a timer for when it removes itself. So how about we go If mode nine, if timer end, remove. Um, sequence. Um, if timer is less than zero, so initially. Yeah, like, so maybe like one second goes by and then um, it gets category fear and sets itself into mode one. This is if, if mode zero. And then if mode one, we immediately, I uh, actually should probably have a timer too. So timer zero point something like 2.2 .2 seconds even. And then so for if mode one and if timer is less than zero, uh, we go category none, mode nine, and then we're writing it out until it's done. So like timer of three more seconds. Let's see, three and a half maybe seconds. And it kills itself because it's mode nine. Okay, let's see if that all works as intended. The next thing I want to do is kind of see it like bloom or something. I think I need to do some custom art for this. Okay, so I have a chance to get out of it. Oh, I, I couldn't see where it was. Let's turn on this debug. There it is. Okay, so there it's right in the middle. Okay. It needs to be a little wider. This is quite a large area that it covers, but 80 by 60 by 60, I think, ought to do. It almost needs like a, yeah, I think it needs some custom graphics. I mean, this, this just simple circle gradient is not doing it. I think it's just animate fade. Whoa, whoa. I know I, I wrote something for this already. Made data animate fade. Aha. Okay, so we have right the time, the duration, and then the opacity starting point and the opacity ending point. So I want it to fade in over one second from zero to 1.0. And we'll start with opacity zero. And then when it's done and it's dying and all that, it fades out slowly. So we'll animate fade 3.5 from one to zero. Should make it a little more animated.
a little too fast. But okay, so it's got some fear gas now. But it doesn't look very good yet. The fear gas needs something else. But still, still at least it's a fear gas. And um I want to play around mostly with behaviors today and for at first and then get into more of uh, the pixel art after. So I'm gonna check in the fear gas. <laughs> you hit a wall. <laughs> oh yeah. Good one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wanna make sure it also lines up. Yeah, it's a bit too tall. Okay, so it needs to be maybe 40 tall, and then it needs an anchor offset. Like about maybe negative 20 or so, so that it still visually looks like it's further down. Was good seeing this anchor offset. Yeah, let's do a little more anchor offset. Buffo. The, the fear gas does look a little better now that it's further down. Yeah, you can kind of tell that it's doing something to you. Okay, that's pretty good. Without any art done, that's actually pretty, pretty decent. All right, so I changed the fear boss so it can't be affected by its own fear. Um, and then the fear boss just spits out some gas when every once in a while. That's it. Alright, now I want to do this sideways moving enemy, kind of like, um, if you've played Axiom Verge, it's kind of like, Axiom Verge has these little, like, dragons or whatever, they go, Phew! and they shoot really fast, um, out from the sides of the walls, and then they just go side to side. Um, I'm kind of, I kind of want to create an enemy kind of like that, but a little different. So, this enemy is going to be sort of like a brainy piece of goo, and it just flies really quickly from side to side so on this in this screen right here they'll be like maybe and scream yeah you hate those guys yeah and they scream like really loud yeah they, they really get you with the scream too you're like what the hell was that so i'm imagining like one two three four five six maybe eight eight or so of these things so the constantly while you're trying to battle this fear wall thing these things are just shooting at you from side to side, so you're constantly having to dodge them and stuff, and that'll add a lot more dimension. It will also make it better for when you get affected by fear, because then it'll be you'll because right now when you're affected by the fear, you just run around in a circle, but you can still just you can still just hang straight by the wall and keep hitting it as fast as you can. You know, even though I'm just, even though I'm hit by fear right then, I can still keep hitting the wall. But if you have to dodge some other enemies and stuff going on, then the fear is going to be kind of affecting you more, so. Alright, um, so I created uh, the seer enemy. Uh, let's get some of them created. I mean, uh, in this, this boss fight needs some of them. So we have a fear boss and we have seer, fear, eight. Let's do eight of them for now. Um, this does have a lock.
What's up, PFC? How's it going? How you been? Um. Oh yeah. So now we need to give them a position that's special. It's one of those special enemies, special needs enemy that has a special place in the world. The wall, the side of the wall. All right, so if name is Seer, Fear, uh, really what should go on is it should actually find all the wall positions that are open, meaning they have like a, an empty tile next to them, and then, you know, put the enemy there. But for now, I'm just going to manually place this guy so I can quickly see, get this guy going as fast as possible. So depending on the eye, the index of this enemy, it's either going to be... Hmm, we'll just go, we'll put them all on the left for now. P dot set. Oh, let's see who actually will go. Um, this, get tile pause. For... Um, if I is less than four, it's going to be negative, one, two, three, four, six, I think six and six. And then Y is going to be I mod four. Plus, plus about three. Maybe three plus I mod four. I'm probably just more like two. Two plus I mod four times two. Okay, that should that should even them out. Kind of put them on opposite sides of the screen. Oh, two plus if I is less than four, zero, otherwise one. So that I'll stagger them on the Y positions. You haven't programmed in a month? You don't really know what you're up to? Right on. Well what's what are you uh, what are you doing now? Obviously they're just all the same enemy here, the same vulgarizer guys. So that's a good thing to start with actually. There was only four of them, though. I think these need to be negative seven and seven, too. Oh, that's because that's supposed to be XD, which is W2 plus all that. And this is supposed to be, oh yeah, this is just two. Okay. Well, that's probably what was ex what was causing them, the other guys to be missing. start making this guy uh i'll start with this art for the for the pulverizer keep it like that for a minute but now what i'm gonna do is start working on the behavior of this enemy to make it more like what i was just talking about there you want to make a case opening simulator 
like a what kind of case opening? Like a briefcase opening or like like a case like a crime case? Oh, oh. Oh, Counter-Strike Go. Ah. Okay, it's always kind of it's always kind of hard to move, to use existing systems. So I'm just going to comment all these out. Start with this enemy fresh. So starting out, the enemy um, is just sitting there inside the wall, waiting for the player to come along. To come along. Um, I guess we'll call this one a look. Well, I don't want it to. We'll call it alert. All right. If target any, oh, it needs a choose then. Okay, we'll start with choose. If target none, target hero. Now. If target any, if target in a line, timer less than zero, we need to start the movement. Well, does it? No, it does the movement if mode one, which is speed. We said the dir target and then a timer. Actually, we'll go if mode zero. So this is sequence. Um, we'll call it spear. There are now microtransactions in games where you pay for a case. You get a random in-game item. Oh. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, so it's like a simulator that kind of like makes it even makes it really cool to get those. Makes it all animated and stuff. Well, zero, target any, target in a line, third none, timer's less than zero, dir target. Actually, I want to go dir center. I think I have that in the AI system. Behavior, dir. That's if dir, here's set dir, last, ran, none. Target, opposite, reflect, south, clockwise. There's no center. I thought I did this. Oh well. Constants, we need a, word, a new word. Do I have it already? Behavior center? I do have behavior center. Did I just miss it? Dur. Behavior your center. No? Okay. Oh, I had face. Face works with center. Right? Thousands. Big business. Or, or I mean big medium business. Medium sized business. Uh 
All right, so the direction center, this is gonna make it so any kind of entity can always set their direction towards the center of the area. Pretty simple. So we need a vector from from the current entity's position to, to the center of the screen. <laughs> right, Valve? <laughs> Valve! So that's minus, so that's if the player's on the right side or the entity's on the right side, that'd be subtract, so it'd be positive. So no, that needs to be some other way around. It needs to be vec area size minus this position. Whoa, sold it for 200 bucks? Crazy. And now the direction becomes compass direction from vector v given e dot input dot flags. Really? He bought the equivalent in cases, keys? Wow. Opened a three hundred dollar knife in second case. Wow, that's cool. No, we don't need return true here. This is already returning there. Okay, so yeah, we got a new behavior that can set. It. Well, I should check this that this works. Okay, so we got dir center. This thing needs input flags, health. No instant recharge. This thing can be killed. What's up, Zoc? How's it going? Went on one of those CSGO gambling sites and bet $10. One, one half. What? I'm doing good, Zoc. How are you? So move mask, it collides with static, collides with other foes. No, it doesn't collide with other foes. Collides with neutral container switch. Yeah, that'll be good. No gravity, does have gravity. Dirt center. So if it gets to the point where it hits another side, so if, oh, we need to set mode one now. So mode one is when it's flying through the air. Doing good? <laughs> what will they think of next? How's the progress? It's going really good, man. Really, really good. Yeah, if you haven't seen uh, if you haven't seen what's what's new in Songbird, you should check out um, the Twitter. It's looking there's a lot of a lot of movies and stuff on there, um, but you'll see me working on this uh, this boss here. This is a big wall boss. Right about now, if stuck, if there any wait no, this is gonna be if mode one if stuck. Really doesn't need if target any if target none. Just there none. Mask move. No, we don't need to do any kind of masking. We just need to go back to mode zero. Okay, let's see if that works. Test it. Whoa. Is it released? No, it's not released. No, there's going to be a... It's definitely not 
it's not finished yet. It's almost it's almost complete with all the content. I'm working on the fear dungeon. This is the second to last dungeon. No, third to last dungeon. So almost done with all the dungeons and almost done with just about everything, but there'll still be several months of refinement. There's a lot of things I need to like, you know, go back and spend another week on this dungeon and that dungeon and that dungeon. Get everything like really, 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 really good, ready for release. So the game is just gonna be tits by the time it's it's ready for release, you know. But um yeah, it's going really, really well though. It's very fulfilling, super fulfilling thing to work on. It's actually the most fulfilling project I've ever worked on. It's so awesome. It's so great to make your make your own game and kind of see it see it like start to take wing. You know, you're like pushing it out of the nest. Go little, go little songbringer, fly! And to see it actually start flying. Yes, it should be released this year. I don't know if it actually will get released this year, but um, if it doesn't get released this year, it'll get released very soon next year. And to everyone that's already backed the project um, or, or pre-ordered the game, you guys are going to get something special. So if, um, if you're one of those people that's pre-ordered already, you guys are going to be getting something special. Before, before this year is out, you will get something. I promise. But yeah, so I'm not exactly sure when the release date will be. Maybe it could, maybe I could squeak it out this year. I don't know. We'll see. B before you. That's should be. I guess it should be east. Oh, that's gonna try and return south. Maybe if shoot. So, uh, input flags. Okay, so this guy needs to have. This guy needs to have input flags just east west. Thumbbringer. <laughs> and if it is, you finish your goal. Do you have a next goal in sight? Yes, I do. Yeah, I have the next game already planned out. It's the next. It'll if if Thumbbringer succeeds, you know. Um, the next game will be a, another game in the Songbringer series, and it will you'll get to play as a different character in the Songbringer universe or whatever. And there'll be different items and stuff like that, but it'll be the same kind of game. So it'll be a three quarters three D, you know, I mean a you know a two D action RPG with a three quarters three D view, just like just like Songbringer. So, but it'll be a different character, different world. I don't want to say which character just yet. No, it's... Is it a spin-off? No. No. It's the same... It's one of the characters you already know and love. But it, but the character evolves and becomes a play, more of a playable character. Bombbringer? <laughs> uh, day 420? What do you want to improve and what new features will there be? Man, that's kind of asking a lot for for me to answer right here before I'm even even know if I'm gonna create that game. <laughs> don't don't tell everybody. PMC's guessing it already. Uh, yeah. What do I want to prove? I kind of want to make it more procedural in general. I'm thinking there could be a lot more procedural created elements, like artwork especially. Yeah, all sequels gotta have improvements. I agree. I agree fully. No, no, I, I don't mean like, I don't mean like, sorry, like, I just meant to say that, um, that it's hard for me to answer that at this point because I'm still not even finished with this game. So, yeah. Can I ban? No, no, you can't ban him. You're so ban happy. Flag 68. Is that the two? That should be east and west. View is binary. Ah, yeah. Well, let's see. West. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, those are risk. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so e.ai.dir should become either east or west. Okay, we got east. Nice. All right, let's see if that, this is all working. Slow. 
You can't ban him because I'm going to. <laughs> so these guys need to move like, let's go triple that speed. Yeah, that's, that's more like it. What's happening? Are they getting squashed? I think they're getting killed by the wall. Yeah, they're totally getting killed. So the wall squishes them and they die. And then it squishes you and you die! Uh. This is going to be like an impossible boss fight. World's worst room, right? It's so, so hard. Um, okay, so now I'm going to start making these guys look more like what I was imagining. I'm thinking they're, they kind of look like gooey, brainy, like... Stuff. <laughs> so we all bring out the thong for here. Long finger! Long finger's pretty good. I still keep thinking that I can make it, like, if I just set off enough, enough bombs. I'm out of bombs! Oh! More bombs. I can do this. I feel like I can get this guy. Kill him. Kill him. The fear wall. Bombs. Bomb. Bomb. Bombs. We got tw 28 bombs. I think I need more bomb containers. Shoot. All the bomb containers. All the bombs. I need all the guns. All the guns. 49 bombs. Save anyway. Let's see if this works. I love it. So far, so far, so good. Okay, um, I'm gonna start drawing this other guy now. Uh, I'm thinking they just look like a little blob. Let's start with a blob. This enemy is gonna be approximately, let's see, like the size of Jib. New item, the jackhammer. One-time use? <laughs> yeah, it's one-time use. It allows you to beat this guy. Oh, the intel is about the same size as Jib. All right. So we'll save this as Seer. Seer idol. Wait. Seer idol. And I kinda I'm gonna get the same color. It's kinda the same colors as the uh what are they called? Raymeeks. Raymeek. These brains.
Pack jammer. <laughs> This is kind of a cool color scheme. I can dig this palette. We got some spine. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah, a little tiny brain with the spine flying behind it. Hedge slammer. <laughs> Pedro's a liar. You, he really banned you for 100 seconds? He's so ban happy. Why are you so ban happy, Pedro? Oh, but well now he gives you 10 points. Alright, as ugly as that is, I want to see if it's even the right brightness values at first, so we'll save this at, oh wait, what did I not save? See your idol. Save for web. Save for the web. All is forgiven. See your idol zero. When it's flying, it'll have a run animation, of course. Doesn't need an alert. Doesn't need idle two. Okay. Is there a, is there a story in Thumbbringer? Thumbbringer. What's the story of Thumbbringer? Well, one day a thumb... Thumbfinger? <laughs> oh yeah. These will do. Okay, so smaller. Yeah, that color is pretty good. I can always make it a little darker. Chum Slinger. <laughs> it's Jaws. Jaws the Revenge. Whoa. This eraser is a little too big. Brains. Pongbringer. Pongbringer. Yeah. Floor cleaner. <laughs> Rock becomes a janitor. Uh, <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Rock, Rock, you know, he's tired of saving the world, so he just wants to go clean some floors. Can't can a guy just clean some floors? Con Kinger. 
How about a long stinger? You can only save the world so many times, right? After a while, it just gets old. Yeah, I've saved this world before. I mean, they're cool people and all, but can't they just save themselves? Is this guy is this guy even looking right? Let's find out. Time to find out if this looks even right. Kinda looks like a brain key. <laughs> yeah, right? The key? It does look pretty key like. Yeah, this spinal cord thing is not really looking very spinal cordy yet. But that doesn't matter as much as the overall. Let's see what it looks like. Overall. trying to stand up all day but man I stood up all day this weekend and I got I got like practically strained myself so now I gotta stretch more what happened to this guy this guy just quit he's just like ah I can move yeah that, now they're kind of the right shape though it's kind of what I was thinking They need to have like some sort of animation where they're just like, there's no tail. Yeah, tadpoles? Tadpoles! <laughs> I get what you're saying. Okay, they need, uh, alright, they need to start. So you need like this animation that will make them look right. A GTA pendant? <laughs> it's funny to make things look like this, right? I think it is. Um, where are, we, where are these? What? What the hell? Oh yeah, create AI. They're starting like one, one um, one block too far. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so they can see who makes it first. <laughs> I was going to say they need varying speeds to make it more varied and interesting to fight. But yeah, to see who makes it first. That's, that's, that's a much better reason. Negative six and six. And okay, so they're, they got this little thing where they're going to like poke out of the side of the wall. Which means we need one frame. This could be like their run frame or whatever. Call this run. Sear run. Once you attach the rock, yeah. On his face, he's like, ah. If a crew of five people needs five years for a game, does only one guy need 25 years then? <laughs> yes, that's that's how it works. <clears throat> OK, 
Get rid of face pictures and backwards and replace the head part. <laughs> Hey, hey, who wants to be a little tadpole? Who wants to be a tadpole? Come on, I know you do. Send me your picture. I, pro I promise I won't do anything funny with this picture. I promise. Let's see, it's 52 by 52. And I want 20 in the middle. Let's see, 20 with 20. Oh, for real, you're wondering? Depends on the scale of the game. Yeah, right? I think, you know, yeah, it, it's partially how many people you have working on your game, but it's also partially how fast you work and how fast you can get your process to be. You know, like, um, I kind of found a fast process for making art here with pixel art because my pix the pixels are so big that it if with this... Once I can get this style down for pixel art, then it I knew it would become fast for me to make it. Cause and I also do my animations on the 10 or on, on the point every point in one seconds. And some artists do it at like 0 0.05 seconds or whatever. So that would take them twice as long to do an animation, you know. So I use as many tricks as I can to to make my work as fast as I possibly can. And also using like I used I used some technology that really, really helped. It should only take 5,000 years to make Red Dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I use like using an entity component system and also using behavior trees has really, really made everything super fast. Like, like being able to, um, you know, make this, like I just made these two enemies today on this stream so far. And all I had to do was change some, change some, make some sequences and stuff like that. So having a, having an, a, a really good system where you don't have to write as much code as you would. Anything you can do to make there less code, you're gonna make a faster game because code takes forever. The thing that takes the longest, I think, in making games is the code. Sometimes the art, you know, it depends on if you're if you're trying to make triple A quality like style art, then yeah, your art's gonna take forever too. But as far as like an indie game goes, programming takes by far the longest amount of time. Yeah. All right, good night, clock. I don't know. So yeah, you just I say try and find try and find ways to work faster, but also I work a lot more than I work a lot. I work 7 days a week, 8 to 10 hours a day. So that that gets me some some good distance covered per week. But also it's scope, yeah, it's scope of your game, right? If I had, if this, if the scope of this game were any bigger, it would be taking a lot longer for sure. Later, cock. All right, is that even there? We got 16 pixels here, 16 pixels there. Beautiful, which means, okay, I want this guy to like hang out. He looks, whoops. It's like hanging out over here. Like a little nothing. Select this and go layer, layer mask, reveal, selection, there. Write a book of techniques. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to. I've, I kind of would. I have some ideas in mind. I'll definitely write some more Gama Sutra articles. Yo, professional novice, what's happening? I'm working on this enemy for um for the fear the fear dungeon boss basically, and some other enemies that kind of complement this fear dungeon boss enemy. This is a little tadpole enemy. That flies at you from from the sides of the screen. Flies at varying speeds. One of the tadpoles wins. Wins the race. So we got seer idle and seer run now.
Work has been busy? Yeah, what you been working on? Oh, on Gama Sutra, it's my name, Nathaniel Weiss. Yeah, let me get you the link. I've only written one article on Gama Sutra here. But I plan to make more. Um, just articles on creativity and game development and how to how to be faster, you know, whatever. Some kind of helpful articles, hopefully. Okay, the guys on the right look look good. Well, you can see that they're there. It's weird that they're stopping in the middle, though. That's something's going on there. Oh, phone's ringing. Hold on, guys. Might be important. Oh, yeah, we'll get your ass home. I love you, baby. See you soon. Okay. One day, well, the same BLA project, my day job has been hectic. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do know the struggle. I've struggled for many, many a year. One day be full time. Yes, yeah, I have German ancestors. Half my family. Hope that isn't a landline. I know it sounded like a landline, right? It's rotary. <laughs> um, I don't want it. Oh, I want to do no flip X. Fender flags, no flip X, and. When it's, um, whenever the, the entity starts, wait, we can, um, I guess we'll start here at the, this part. We'll go face center. Really? <laughs> Still carries the pager? Voice of Grog! What's up? How's it going, Grog? Whoa, that guy went backwards. That guy went backwards too. It's kind of tough with this wall moving so fast. Okay, let's slow this wall down. Can't even beat this wall in time anyways. You're born in Russia? Oh, you live in Germany? Cool. Things are finally slowing down, right on. Let's say the, the wall moves half as fast. Half as fast, for sure. Five, and it has no movement to the X. And let's put in more of these uh, tadpoles. More tadpoles. 12 tadpoles. Which means they all need to be, seems to be six here. This is six, six. Uh, 10 bucks a day. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Ten dollars to you. Ten dollars to you too. Your friend? Sure, he can have ten dollars. Can you have two ten dollars? No, you can't have two ten dollars. That would ruin everything. Go to the back of the line for asking that question. All right, so just kind of like getting this enemy to um, to behave correctly, and then I'll get the art dialed in, make it look good. First of all, oh hey, look at that. They all actually started correct. Yeah, look at these guys that are getting pushed by the wall. Killed that fast. They're a bit too round. I want them to look more blob and like goo like. Yeah, sound effects, yeah. I mean I haven't even started the sound effects for this boss there are these enemies yet but but eventually it'll sound really really good okay what's the next thing that needs to be done make them so they can't stop in the middle that's they're getting stopped in the middle too much so all right well how do i get them to not ever stop in the middle why are they getting stopped in the middle probably because um Jib's shield goes off, or your shield goes off, to make a slurping sound. <laughs> uh, they already have mass 1.0. Cool, right on. So I think they're getting hit. Well, they need to start up again. Yeah, they need they need to keep their momentum. Which means they kind of need zero acceleration duration. Zero acceleration. Let's try that. That would make them so they can move. They can instantly get bit up to their speed. Oh no! Uh, that's totally. That's totally what's going on. The shield blocks them, and then they they're stopped. Okay, how can they, either they shouldn't get blocked by the shield, which, no, wait, that's actually a pretty good idea, because right now, even if an enemy has mass 1.0, means that, which means they sh literally shouldn't be able to be moved at all, they can still be moved by the shield, so... Let's make it so when you actually activate the shield, it um, it doesn't move an enemy if the enemy has mass 1.0. Nice, Zoc. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Um, which is in use shield. I think there's a function called use shield. Or use yeah, use shield HP. Hey, I know that. How's it going? What's up? Welcome. Howdy, howdy. Separate shield, man. Push back, reflect. Here it is. If not, change it out, move dot empty. And if the changer dot collision dot mass is less than 1.0. 
<laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. I haven't seen your name here in a minute. How have you been, Inonet? What's going on? What's going on in Inonet's world? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm still using the shield, but I'm not stopping those enemies. And that also means that Jib can't stop this wall by using his shield. Try it one more time. I gotta the, now that this ball is moving half as fast. This is this has gotta be able to kill us right now. something in this game. Nope. Yep, I did it all by myself, man. I really don't want to outsource it. I don't want anybody else to do stuff on this game because I, I don't know, I, it's difficult for me to communicate what I want other people to do. And it's so easy for me to just do it myself. And I don't have money to outsource anything anyways. I barely have enough money to like fund this game myself. So um, there's a lot of reasons why I don't outsource and I just do it all myself. The biggest one though is communication. You know, it's like it's hard to communicate your vision to other people and and see that vision become something that you really intended, you know? Like it's really, really easy for me to like do the things that I intend because I know what I have in mind. But when you're trying to communicate something else to somebody, it's like hard to hard to be like, hey, I wanna I want an enemy that kinda looks like a brain and or and I want it to fly across the screen or whatever, you know. Oh, translations, right, yeah, of course. The translations, you guys translated. Thank you for your translations. Yes, there are translations. Um, uh, what, what languages do you know? Okay, I'm gonna keep working on these tadpoles. They're still getting stopped in the middle for something. Why would they get stopped now? Oh, probably because they died. Oh no, wait, this guy is just on the edge. See, that guy got hit on that, on that side and then he didn't face the right direction. Weird. Supposed to face... German and English? Oh, unfortunately, German and English are both already done. Well, not done, like they're all done, but like they're already covered. Somebody's already doing German and doing it quite well. Right? Yeah. And also that was that was all kind of offered back in the day when, when it was the $64 version, the alpha version. And people got $64 version of the game for without having to pay for it. Can you help with French? Um, French. I had somebody. Yeah, no, I have. I know I have somebody doing that, I think. Let me think. I thought that somebody agreed to do it. Yeah, somebody, somebody's already doing French and Spanish. But wait, somebody is not. Somebody hasn't started their Spanish translation yet. But that's all right. I've told everybody that's translating that you don't have to do it yet. Um, really, it's kind of pointless to translate it at this point. Well, not, it's not pointless, but like, if you're translating at this point, you're gonna kind of do a lot of re not retranslating, but like you'll have to keep adding and adding to your translation because there's still more, still more text. 
so the problem is sometimes they oh I didn't I didn't do this face center there <laughs> crazy that explains why that guy was not facing the right direction okay so now somebody for Russian too because I know there's like several people that have come that have said yeah I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna translate and I gave them the, you know this the $64 version or whatever and so they're committed they're like yeah I'm gonna do that translation but they haven't some of them haven't started theirs yet which is okay but um I, I can't I think Russian was one of them I think there's there's definitely Portuguese Pedro's doing Portuguese, Spanish, Russian, I'm pretty sure is our, is one of them that's covered, Polish, um, Japanese is even one of them. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of covered at this, well, what's, le, what's, what would be a language that was kind of missing at this point? I mean, Chinese, Chinese would be a great one. Oh, all right, Noah. Cool. Well, you're totally welcome to do that. Feel free to get in touch with me. Um, I don't think the person that's done the French one has worked on their French translation in a minute. So I'm not sure. It's probably pretty outdated at this point. All right. Well, I guess now is now is the time to start drawing this guy, making him look cool, because I think it's working. It's like visually. The only problem now is that oh, that was kind of a problem. These guys on the right. Huh. Wait a minute. Create AI, go to, where is it like set flip X and stuff? Okay, it's already created the entity. So if I is greater than or equal to the middle, E render sprite set flip X true. Oh yeah, crowd translation. Ah, cool, nice. Those guys are moving right now. Arc Survival of the Fittest. Cool. What's the difference between the 16 and 32? The 32 gets you the beta version, so you can play it right now. You get a Steam key, like literally the second you order it. So, um, the $16 version gets you the game when it's, when it's finished, like later this year. Far 
carved on the wall. I want them to be like a little more blobby and stuff. So it begins. I'm gonna draw this guy and make him cool. So first of all, he's a little too... Wait, wait. Okay, so I'm going to make him, well, I'll start with the frame that looks a little more, I want him to just kind of like be dripping. Yeah, like dripping material like this. Okay, now one frame where it's kind of starting to like move itself inward a little bit. Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, keep moving this stuff in. Want to like pulse and breathe. Uh, right on. Right on. Thanks, Inoa Net. I really appreciate that. Thanks for ordering, man. You should you so you should already have an email for um or you should get an email pretty soon from Humble. Um that will you'll it'll have a Steam code in it. And then um and then later on you'll be getting an email from me too, so you can get your name in the credit. So I'll ask you what name you want credited, and then you just write me back and I'll put your name in the credits. So thank you, appreciate that. Nice, right on, cool. Well yeah, you can play the game as it is now. There's like about six of nine dungeons finished. And uh, there's uh, some of the story done. See, the game's about 60-ish, 60 to 70% done. 
I, I thought it was 80% done a little while ago, but it's it's not. It's more like 60 to 70% done. Oh, no, yeah, just people like you and me, not prof not professionals. Nope. No professionals allowed. Nobody's... I'm not even, I'm not even a professional. I'm just a, I'm an amateur game developer here. Hopefully this will turn out. So one, one more frame like that, but this looks like that. And then one more frame here, and I can like play around more with this. What's bright and what's not. Okay, so throw it all together. Yeah, it's very lightweight, huh? Yep. And that's, the, well, I mean, that's even a, kind of an exaggeration because of Steam's diffing and stuff. Songbringer, actually, the assets for Songbringer are 85 megs. Oh, yeah, and then the, all the executables are like uh, another 30 megs. So, yeah, I guess it is more like 100. It's like 110, 120 megs. But there'll, it'll be get bigger because there's going to be a lot more music added. The music is the big thing. The sounds, let's see. Sound sounds are 80 megs of it. The textures are only 8 megs cuz it's pixel art, man. It's all pixel art. There's there's literally there's like over 1500 frames of all hand custom drawn animations just for the main character. 1500 frames. But all that fits into one texture, which is only 2 megabytes in size. It's crazy. It's crazy how, how efficient pixel art is. So, and then the data is only 300K, <laughs> but that's pretty important stuff right there. That data, if you mess even a single kilobyte of that up, you mess up the whole game. And uh, yeah, eventually Songbringer will be totally moddable. It actually, as it stands now, it's moddable. You can mod it for sure. It's just that there's no documentation or anything about how to mod it at this point. But eventually there will be. Wait, wait, this is done. Two, three, four. I think that's like, let's see what this looks like. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is gonna look like in the game, but we'll find out. See your idle backgrounds. Oh, this is not supposed to go in backgrounds. It's supposed to go in bows. Hmm. Oh wait, I already did it there. Okay, I get it. Let's see what's going on there. Good games could be heavyweight, like sixty gigs. Yeah. Yeah, Terraria is a 45 megs, wow. Hey, do if look at um the some of the 64k challenges. Like for example, uh, what's that Krieger? I think it's a game called Krieger. It's only 80 kilobytes or whatever. It procedurally generates the entire thing. It's like a, it's a three-dimensional game. It's, it's amazing. It all fits in 80 kilobytes. Mm, yeah, it's still too big. Yeah. They can be.
Oh, because the delay is 0.5, it needs to be 0.1. And if targeting the line, if turned on, timer is less than zero. If RAND is less, if RAND 0.5, so there's a little bit of randomness there. I got an idea about how every one of these enemies could be a little bit slower or faster. So I'm going to do a select when it first starts. It'll go select sequence if rand is less than 0 0.5. Maybe 0 0.333. Speed is 1.1. Another sequence, if RAND is less than 0 0.333, speed is 1.2. Otherwise, one3 And if none of those happen, speed will just be 1. How come I don't have more viewers? I don't know. You tell me. Not doing much Twitch marketing? No, I'm not doing any Twitch marketing. Really, the, all this is for, this is all just to promote the game. That's the only reason I'm here. I promote my video game. And so, I'm not trying to promote what I'm, <laughs> promote my promotions. You know, I'm just, this is, this is my promotion for the video game. So whoever finds me on here, will find me, you know? I do a lot of cross promotion, I guess you could say, I, because I do I do a YouTube channel, I do Twitter, um, I got a TIG source, I got everything, a Steam community to update. There's like so much marketing I do on every day. Every day I spend like probably at least an hour, well, if you count this stream, I spend three hours a day just marketing. So um, I do actually do mar a lot more marketing than it's uh, making it sound like I do, but, um, as far as the Twitch community goes, there's a lot of awesome people here on here that come and stop by and say hi to me all the time. And so, but it never it never becomes something where there's like more than 50 viewers or whatever because how many people are there out there that are actually interested in game development versus games? There's a lot less people that are interested in game development than there are that are interested in games. So of course the streamers out there that are streaming games and doing a good job of it, they're gonna have thousands and thousands of viewers but game developers, they're not going to have much more than 50 to 100 viewers at a time. Max, I, I would imagine. Unless you're just some crazy wizard that has powers I have no idea about. I don't know. Maybe Jonathan Blow has like a bajillion viewers when he does his development because he's already famous and stuff. But for non-famous game developers like me, that's, you know, it's, it's hard to get more than even 30 people viewing a stream is a lot, actually. So this whole like it, I wanted this thing to look like it was pulsing, but it's not quite pulsing yet. Yeah, fourteen, right? Yeah, fourteen people watching a game dev s s stream is actually decent. Totally. Yeah, when I first started out, when I first started streaming, 
There would be days where no one would comment for the entire stream. And because I had no following whatsoever, I had no following on Twitter, nothing on Twitch. Yeah, thanks, Alita CB. Yeah, see, and see, and it doesn't really matter how many people are watching. It matters how the for me it doesn't matter the, the quantity of people that are watching. It matters the quality of the people that are watching. And there's a lot of quality people that watch this stream. Like Alita CB is sharing right here. You know, it's like there's people out there that you guys matter, you know, you guys are quality people. You're not just people that come on and sh and chat bullshit and like and say song requests, song requests, or you know all that kind of stuff that people do on on other kinds of streams. Born this night, he, he gets a ton of viewers. Well, good for him. Nice. Yeah. See, one of these days, maybe I'll be a little more famous, and maybe maybe this stream will have like more viewers, but. I don't know. I've done this for two, almost two years now, and it's never really gotten more than 30 to 50 people watching at once. <laughs> He's a big YouTuber, though. Oh, and he runs Ludumdar? Ludumdare? Whoa. I want this to like to look more like it's pulsing, but I think I also want it to to be all moved to the left a little. Thanks, Noah Annette. Oh, he just competes. Okay, I'm going to keep playing around with this animation until I get it just right, because I want this to look kind of like gooey and drippy and stuff. Ba 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 na na ba. Ba -na -na -na. Got about 15 more minutes on today's stream. This is pretty good go. This this boss fight, I'm so excited for this boss fight because I've always wanted to create a Final Fantasy style wall and <laughs> wall boss. And um finally doing it. It's gonna be fun when this when this boss fight really really starts to gel though and starts to look Yeah, now it's kinda starting to pulse more. It's hard to keep viewers in Game Dev Channel because all the kids out there think game deving is all fun and games, but in reality it's work. Yeah. Sometimes watching someone work is really not that much fun. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, do a let's play of your own game. Yeah, that's always whenever I do whenever I do playthroughs, there's I get a lot more viewers. That's for sure. So yeah, it's yeah, you born to snipe, you bring up a really good point there. Yeah. I think maybe even one less pixel. Yeah, high level of lurkers, yeah. Yeah, I like lurkers, totally, yeah, lurkers are way better than trolls, oh my god, I've definitely been trolled, I've been so trolled, one time I was trolled, bef like before I was 
worldly wise in my Twitch streaming or whatever. I got trolled so bad by this one dude that sent me like a, he's like, click my link, click my link, please click my link. I'm like, okay, sure, I'll click your link. And it was this, it was this literally a scary ass troll. Like it was the scariest, loudest troll thing I'd ever seen in my life. And it literally, it made me, it made my heart pump. I was like, oh my God, that's so scary. Totally got me. It was probably really funny for him, but it really was disturbing for me. But that's that wasn't the worst troll. The worst troll was this one guy that came on the stream and was literally ripping the shit out of me. Like, it's like telling me how bad my game was. Tell me I'm jumping on the bandwagon, like your game is such a piece of crap, you know, like all this stuff. So, so mean. It's like literally so mean. Yeah, you can't be naive. You can't be naive and, and stream for long. Eventually you'll you'll learn. But thankfully, when that super bad troll was on here, there were some really great people on the stream that were, you know, standing up for me and being like, "No, you're a dick. Get out. Get the fuck out of here." So, and he kept coming back. That was the worst part. This troll had like five accounts or whatever, and he kept coming back and talking more shit, and more shit, and I had to keep banning him and banning him and banning him. Finally. Finally. Thomas, what's up? What's up, what's up? Good to see you too. Yeah, this stream has so many moderators actually. There's like five, well, sh well dang, there's a lot of them aren't on in here anymore as, as much. But yeah, haven't had as many problems lately with the trolls. That's good. Let's move this one back one pixel. Okay, Let's see what that looks like. I'm trying to this. I don't want this guy to be too visible. Even if you have 13 mods in one bot. Yeah, see, mods are doing their jobs. Pedro loves banning people. Pedro, we you know what we need? We need a mod. We need like a bad bad troll so Pedro can really ban somebody bad. The last troll was PMC for life. <laughs> Oh man, PMC got the short end of the stick on that one. Yeah, it's been a long time since since anyone's had to really actually ban somebody. Either people are just nicer, or or some I don't know. Why haven't there been as many bad trolls? Maybe I'm just not naive anymore. Or maybe they see that there's mods and they're like, oh, this, this, there's mods. Trolling is not gonna work here. I wanna have a good salary. <laughs> These guys are tough. I think they do a little too much damage. They need to do like a quarter damage. And they should be able to be hurt by the top hat, the sword, the ghost sword, the blink. Okay, it's time to make their animation for when they're flying. I imagine this spine will kind of like be a little more of a curve, so it 
Yeah, let's do that first. Okay, so there's like, that could be frame one. And then, this, I want this to like sort of up. So this should go up a pixel. This could go down a pixel here. Dripping wand of a sorcerer, of an old sorcerer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not focused on the brain part of it just yet. I'm going to focus on the spine part. Just get this animated right. Up. Down. I got a lot of imagination. Yeah. That's a gift. Making things undulate is, is hard for me. I don't know which way to go with this. Is it, is it left? Is it right? Is it up? Is it down? I'll start with the beginning. Oh, almost. Oh yeah, this is almost right. Not bad, not bad. So the the brain part's not animated at all, but now that that tail part is animated, let's see what that looks like when it's flying through the air. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. <laughs> wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Wiggle, wiggle. There's like so many thousands of frames now in this one sprite sheet that it takes forever for it to recompile. As you can see, it's compiling that sprite sheet. Run, run yourself. You got your st really your stomach, really? See, they move so fast, it's like you can't even see them anyways. Let's slow down time. Oh, okay, 
so they need they need to um can go faster. So you can't even see that wiggle. It doesn't even wiggle. It doesn't even go through one of its animations before it gets to the other side. Oh, that's because delay is 0.25. Shit. Turn that down. where they actually attach to the wall too. It'd be fun to see. And another animation that would be good is if they, uh, well, they need a death animation, of course. So they don't just look like they, they freeze in the air like they do right now. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is going to be about it for today's stream, so let me, um, let's, let's fight this guy one more time. Before the stream is all said and done, I think I'm going to make it more fair, because at this point in the game, the player should have more health, so I'm going to get a couple more life containers. And do an initial heal, so we start with a little more health. And we're going to max out the bombs. Bombs are going to be like critical to beating this guy. We got 49 bombs, it should be enough. And the fear boss should be able to be hurt by bombs. Yeah, he gets definitely hurt get by. Okay, let's see if we can beat this giant wall. Cause this this is what's so great about this is that it's a time fight. This is the only fight so far where you have to like kick so much ass as fast as you can. confirmed that's great so um yeah nice right it works you can actually beat him but it'll get more fun this boss fight's gonna get more and more fun as he as he gets all finished and stuff yeah so um yeah that's it for today's stream i'll keep working on these these brain tadpole things some more and i need to work on that fear gas thing to make the fear to make it look cooler it's just kind of weird now and then also I need to draw, start drawing the uh, the wall itself. So lots of work left to do with this boss, but it will all pay off. This should be a really fun boss fight when it's all said and done. So thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you next time.